Hello YouTubers, I'm Parwiz and this is our 17th video in Python uh, 3 programming and our third video in Python object oriented programming concepts. <coughs> uh, in the previous video we have talked about uh, creating of initializer method in Python, Python object oriented programming. Uh, in this video we are going to talk about inheritance in a Python object oriented program. So inheritance is the most famous relationship in object oriented programming. Uh, inheritance is sort of like a family tree. For example, we can tell that uh, uh, my father inherited some characteristics from my grandfather and I inherited some characteristic from my father. In object oriented programming, one class can inherit attributes and methods from another class. So in inheritance we have the concept of base class and drive class. So now let me show you. For example, uh, in here I have two class. I have uh, class A and class B. Now in class A I have some attributes like name and age and also I have a method of diff print. Now in my class B, now this class B inherit from class A and uh, uh, now when this class B inherit from class A, class B can access to all attributes and methods of class A. For example, class B can access to the name class B access, can access to the age and also class B can access to the print method. Now in here the class A is called base class and also we can call it parent class and for the class B we can call it drive class and also we can call it child class. So now let me open my PyCharm ID and I'm going to show you the practical example of inheritance in Python. So guys, I have opened my PyCharm ID and uh, this is my previous, now this example is from my previous video that I have uh, uh, talked about creating initializer in Python. So you can watch the previous video. Now I'm going to create a new Python file and I'm going to call it inheritance. So whatever you can call, there's no problem. After this, let me create a new class. So let me create a class uh, person. And now let me uh, uh, give the initializer. Now this class person will have a name attribute and also age. So let me initialize this self dot name uh, name and self dot h h. Okay. Also this class there is a method for this class uh, print uh, details. Now in here I can just print uh, my name is uh, I can give the self dot name uh, my age is uh, let me first print it in here that you can see correctly okay uh, my age is uh, self dot h also you should convert this to the string str <coughs> okay now this is our uh, method and we have uh, a class a class person uh, with some attributes of name and age also we have a method of print details <coughs> uh, now I'm going to create another class so let me create uh, another class uh, I call it student now this class is student and read from class person and in this class student I don't want to add anything but if you want you can add uh, the specific attributes or methods of this class so I'm going to just give it pass now we have inherited a uh, class student from class person now this class student can access to all attributes and methods of our base class this class student can access to the name to the age and also to the print details now let me prove this uh, I'm going to create a student object and student 
and uh, in here uh, I can give it you can see that in here I have uh, uh, if you check I have the name and age I should give so for the name I'm going to give it uh, per ways and for the age I want to give it for example uh, 25 okay now st1 uh, dot print details now you can see we don't have print details or name or age in our student but because it inherited from the person class now this class can access to all methods and behaviors of uh, our uh, base class now I'm going to run this now you can see uh, I have received that my name is Paris and my age is 25 uh, now let me create another object of st2 and let me student of John and let me give it John do so sorry now let me give it the age to 30 now is 2 dot print details now if I run it I receive my name is John and my name is John my age is 30 so thank you guys this was the simple example of uh, inheritance if you like the video please share the video and also subscribe my channel